um, just loose straw with the slip cord over it. Until we get this filled, then we'll put those on. Uh, after yeah. this is filled, we're going to have some leaf leaf frog goes up. Uh, we can find some of the cut off pieces of wood and stuff to ram it down in there, and then we'll put the next forms on, ram it, and then when you get up to the top form, um, you'll uh, pull it off and by hand fill from one side. So that there's not a void. Think about not leaving a void so you have a really fully packed wall against the form. The Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation has been just stellar at doing tests on straw bale and straw clay and some other things. So there's reports available through their website. And I do have this printed out one. You should check in there and see. But straw bale, um, between the straw and the plaster, has better physical properties than well certainly cement or here anything like that, but <coughs> even better than our physical That's in fact that was the printer when I was working with this uh, board of directors for the library and the library just was the box of library that they were building a new library. So it'll be interesting, uh, but I think it's going to hold fine. And then what do you do to finish that off? You can, you can plaster right over it. Okay. It's very standard to just leave frog the forms. Really standard. And then actually you don't want to leave those forms on because you don't want that moisture to stay in there. You want to start drying them right away. system set to the outside. The, the difference
difference here is that you're getting a very thin wall and you're getting a wall that's very, very flat and straight versus a straw bale wall, you would uh, really work to get it very, very, as flat as you're gonna get this. Um, if you don't have the thickness for a straw bale wall, this, this is used a lot in interior walls as well as certainly for whole houses. I'm familiar with walls that are up to 12 inches thick. I don't know of any structures, although I think they, I think they have been done thicker um, than that, but uh, it depends on the climate too. Um, of course you want thicker when you want more insulation, but you want to make sure that you get the, the drawing going on. The other thing about straw clay that you'd want to know is that it, it requires some drying time before you can plaster it. So the thicker you go, the longer you have to build in time so the entire thickness of the wall is completely dry before you plaster. Because you want it to shrink if it's going to shrink and move and you want to get that, that inner moisture to come out before you put moist plaster on it. Um, in some climates, that means it's not going to be appropriate. Because what can happen is it's a slow drying process and you can get, you can get, if it, if it gets really slowed down by very wet weather or very thick walls, um, you can get some mold growth on the surface. Uh, some people say no big deal, you know, they just hit it with some uh, water with lime in it. Wow! wow. Yeah. Steak? Steak. Steak. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that is sweet. <laughs>